This video contains images that may disturb some viewers. Poltava had largely been spared the fate of its neighbour in the east, Kharkiv, until now. Hold on, the medic implores, as this soldier cries out in pain. People had less than two minutes to make it to a shelter after the siren sounded. It was just after 9am. We heard two huge explosions and we ran for the bathroom. The missiles left a massive gash in the side of a military institute, which trained drone operators and officers in charge of army communications. Emergency crews worked all day and into the night to find people in the rubble. The toll from this attack staggering even for war-hardened Ukrainians. With dozens dead and hundreds wounded, the city's medical facilities were overwhelmed. Absolutely. All of the hospitals are packed full of injured people and an army of medics has been called in. Relatives of cadets took to social media to find out if their loved ones were still alive. Others asked why the institute was still conducting in-person classes at a well-known location. Police and the Defence Ministry must establish all of the circumstances of this tragedy. Every single detail must be verified by an investigation. Ukraine's army is struggling to enlist new soldiers. Despite the patriotism of Ukrainians, many young men are trying to avoid conscription. And this attack on trainees before they're even on the battlefield could further damage the war effort. Eric Dworczyk, ABC News.